Hey, Hans here from Scale by Tech. I just wanted to show an update or a script that can update all your make scripts or all your open AI nodes within your make scripts. So whenever uh, open AI releases a new version, for example, GPT-5, you can then update all your scripts in a very simple fashion by doing some uh, some triggery or some scripting with the actual make API. And it looks like this. I'm uh, gonna go into detail in another video about how this actually works. Just wanted to showcase the utility of this. I'm using this demo account I have here with all these scripts in here. <clears throat> Let's just go in and look. We have a lot of them have GPT nodes. And at the moment they're set to GPT 4.0, which is great. But there might be some of them that aren't. So let's take this. We have this open AI field here. Let's first load all our scripts. So if we click load, it will trigger the first one and it will take all our scripts from our make account and put them in here. You don't have to worry about this GPT. This is just a selector. Um, and you can see we get all the names here. So for example, if I wanted to upgrade or downgrade for that matter to uh, GPT-4 Turbo, I can then select this script and say, update this script. What this will do is update that specific script to GPT-4 Turbo. So let's see if uh, we did so in this script. As you remember, this was 4.0, now it's 4 turbo. Let's go in and take this get SEO script and change it up a bit just so we can see that it is actually working. We've got this keyword cluster. Let's set that to uh, GPT-4 turbo. Whoops, I have to click OK. And set this one to something else. Let's go down and select 3.5 Turbo 16K. Click Save, Save anyway. Let's go back. And instead of having to select everything, let's just pick 4.0 and then select Update All Scripts. This will pick this selector here for this script. We're not going in and doing selection for all of them. We're just going to take GPT-40 and updating all scripts with that. So it's now going to grab all the scripts. And then it's going to go through and update them one by one. So we can see that now we get updated, updated, and it will chuck away at this and update all our scripts to the new model. I can see that site info and get SEO has already been updated. So if you go to get SEO, the one that we just changed, we can go in and see that we are now back at 4.0 and 4.0. Awesome. And last part, whenever we get GPT-5, we will go in here and we will add then GPT-5 and click OK. In order to know what to call this, like the specific naming, um, let's go in here. You can see that now it's set to GPT-4 system. You just click whichever model you want to uh, to use. So if we want to use this one, GPT-4.0, and then we un or click this map function, we then get the specific um, name and we just copy this click cancel copy that go in here and then edit field and paste that in so that's how you get the specific id or name of the uh, gpg model but that's it i've now updated all the scripts to 4.0 and i can go ahead and downgrade all of them to Let's just do um, script loaded. 
it's just because else we can't see where we are going and say update all scripts to gpt4 turbo just for fun so now it's going through updating all scripts we can see that should start to load here and this will change the selector to the first one and if we go in let's do the outline and see if it has changed this to for a turbo that it has so just a quick quick uh, demo of what can be achieved if you start to play around with these um, make nodes and in order to actually update a scenario you must use a http node and use the make api documentation because this one update <clears throat> update scenario works like shit <laughs> i've never i can't get this to work whatever i do doesn't work i can fetch stuff so get scenario blueprints and uh, other stuff but for the life of me i can't get the update functions here to work so i need to use http calls or api calls directly to get this to work awesome i uh, hope you learned something new and um, i will be sharing this script um, as well when um, when i'm sure that it is uh, we don't have any bugs in it okay have a great day bye